It's a trap. What is up guys, Al27HD here and we are back with Money No Object Career Challenge. I want to show you my shortlist guys. These are the people that I am looking at during the January transfer window. Danny Alves, PK, Vincent Company, and David Alaba, Paul Pogba, Eden Hazard, Mario Gotze, Lionel Messi. These are the players that we are looking at possibly bringing in. Mario Balotelli as well. So real nice players as we move into our game against Valencia. And um, hopefully we can carry on our unbeaten run. We've got a world-class difficulty playing on clear weather, as I always like to do. And let's get cracking with the match, guys. What are your thoughts on my choices for the shortlist? I wanted to bolster the uh, midfield and possibly the centre-backs. Hence me looking at Vincent Company, PK, also Alves. Pogba, I'm really tempted to bring in as a kind of um, a second fiddle to Yaya Torre. Pogba might be able to add a different dimension to proceedings. So Pogba is an option. Look at that, pinging the ball and can he get a shot away? Yes, he does. But our keeper is wise to it. Our keeper, their keeper is wise to it, guys. We managed to nick the ball off them with Lucas, though. Lucas to Ronaldo. Ronaldo plays it through to Ibrahimovic. Can Ibrahimovic finish? No, he can't. So, yeah, what do you think? Attacking-wise, what do you think? Should I be looking at Balotelli? Should I be looking at... To Gotze, should I be looking at um, Kroos, other people like that, what are your thoughts, who should I go for, who should I be looking at, nice shot from them there, easily gathered by uh, Neuer in the 35th minute, that brings us to Ronaldo who plays it to Piszczek, Piszczek tries a shot, fucking hell, where's he coming that one from, but is uh, gathered and taken out of proceedings, brings us to the 48th minute, just at the start of the second half, reverse pass there to Piszczek, and Piszczek plays it in the middle, and that is a fucking stunning goal. So Rabono pass to Piszczek. Piszczek pins it into the middle. Cristiano Ronaldo is there to head home. Really love that goal, guys. One of them real sumptuous goals that you think, yeah, liking that. First off, gorgeous pass. First off, gorgeous cross. And finishing it off with a gorgeous header. So, yeah, um, I don't think I need goalkeepers. I've got Neuer. I've got De Gea. I am tempted to go for um, Hazard and maybe trade Robin in because Robin is a little bit older than Hazard. Look at that. Lovely little athlete athletic effort from them but we managed to stop it before they do any damage played over the top to Contrao Contrao plays it to himself he plays a shot I, I really didn't see that coming in the game I should have made a note um, but I did not see Contrao getting that shot away um, Robin on the ball can he put a sumptuous cross in with his right foot yes he can we get ahead on it it bounces twice off the bar not once people but twice off the off the top of the crossbar and it comes out it's now their turn we are one nil guys and oh thank god no you could save it because i'm aware that we're in the 86 minute it is one nil we are hanging on they are trying desperately to put some goal into the back of the net but we managed to clear out can he switch the play Oh, he can. He gets on the ball. Torre. Torre plays it to Ronaldo. Can Ronaldo put this to bed? Can we finish this game? Oh, yes, he can. And that puts the thing to bed. No doubt whatsoever, guys. 80th minute. 80 odd minutes. And look at that from Ronaldo. Ooh, 88 minute. Sorted. And that takes us to the end of the game, guys. What ended up being a comfortable 2 0 win wasn't that at all, guys. The uh, the game itself is not reflected by the scoreline. That was a hard, difficult, well fought game. And I was pleased that we managed to get through and obviously take the spoils. Ronaldo there with a double. And that moves us into our next match. This is the return leg. If you remember, we won 3 1 in the uh, the match at the Bernabeu. We're now playing at Town Park. I don't think this is the biggest football team in the world that we're playing. I must be entirely honest with you. It doesn't look like the uh, the might of the Bernabeu. It could be one of these where the likes of, say, Chelsea play uh, Accrington Stanley, although I may be doing this Spanish football team a disservice. So can we heap on the pressure that we did in the first one? Obviously, we were 3-1 in the first leg, but they start off positively, playing it up, seeing if they can create some space and can they get it away and they managed to get it out of the wing they managed to get a ball into the center can they get ahead on it no they can't but it comes out to get a shot away Neuer is wise to it guys all i want to do in this guys is just put it to bed i just want to get a couple of goals in and maybe we can do that now with Ronaldo. Ronaldo skips inside. Can he get his shot away? Yes, he can. But it is a great last-minute block that stops him doing any damage. So it is time for the corner. 
<gasps> can I hit it? He does, but it is just wide. Obviously, we've got the 3-1 cushion, so with the two-goal cushion, we're not too bothered, but we keep on the pressure with this corner, and, oh yeah, we managed to let that pressure tell. The big-nosed bastard himself, the ponytailed freak, gets his big head on the ball. Dirt as Latan. Yes, I fucking did dirt, dirt as Latan, and managed to put it in the back of the net. A little bit of a replay for you. Boom. Keeper had no chance. Lovely bit of power on that. And that makes it 4-1 on aggregate. It's pretty much game over. But I watched the run from Cristiano Ronaldo. Manages to take possession. Can he finish this game off? No, he can't, guys. Ronaldo blasting wide there. That is very, very uncharacteristic. Because in those kind of situations, coming in from an angle, Ronaldo 99 times out of 100 scores. So we've got Bale on the ball. Decides to have a go from massive range. And is very, very unlucky not to do better with that that watch this i'll show you watch how close this is to the post and i think the keeper may have been beating it yo look at that real good chance so played over the top to cristiano ronaldo comes out to ibrahimovic ibrahimovic has another punt and their keeper manages to push it wide we're once again heaping the pressure on with iron robin i robin cuts inside Ooh, that is game over guys that is five one on aggregate he is mowing down with his fucking imaginary machine gun because he don't give a fuck that was a real nice goal guys just cuts inside and that left foot of robin i have spoken to you about it before in ultimate team that left foot is a left foot of the gods but can they manage to do any sort of impact even can they even get a consolation no they can't shocking shocking performance they play the ball over the top though and they get taken down can they get a penalty can they make Neuer cry because we all know that Neuer cries when he concedes whenever Neuer can't keep a clean sheet he cries I don't think there's much in that guys I'll be perfectly honest with you but uh, they get a penalty anyway it is in the dying minutes the 90th minute it is pretty much put to bed so I'm not worried but um, it would be nice for Neuer to keep a clean sheet he does his little spider-man whoa where am I going 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 I'll be honest, Noya, you're not going where the fucking ball is. That's a, he seems totally blasé. Stands there in the middle, and they manage to get a goal. So 2-1 in this match, guys. Obviously, 5-2 uh, on aggregate, and we managed to take the spoils. We managed to take the victory and move on to the next round of the cup. And uh, in unfamiliar territory, we're not used to uh, single-level stadiums and things like that, but uh, we'll take it, guys. We'll take a cup victory any day of the week. If you enjoyed this episode, guys, please like, some comment, really appreciate it. Follow me on Twitter and catch you later.